Right, welcome ladies and gents. Rachel Zegler is reinventing Snow White. Also talks about toxic Disney fans. Uh, and this is supposed to be really good marketing. Supposedly. This is supposed to be good. good this, is, this is supposed to be really good for Snow White and Disney. Oh dear. Disney's publicist needs to get on Snow White. Get on Rachel Zegler. Sort her out. This ain't going to go down well. Toxic Disney fans. Alright then. Let's have a look, shall we? Hit subscribe if you're newer, guys. Turn those bell notifications on. This is uh, a, a pretty big interview with Variety. And it's just full of nonsense. It's what you expect, actually. Revisionist history. Uh, just, just nonsense. Just absolute nonsense. Uh, passing the buck here and there. It's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. So I thought we'd take a look because it's very, very funny. And it, and it really does go to show just why Rachel Zegler has the title of the most insufferable woman in Hollywood at this current point in time. Yeah, she's stolen that crown from Brie Larson. Uh, so let's take a look, right? Uh, it, I mean, it, it's just insane. It, it's, yeah, it's absolutely insane. So there's some comments which we start to get into as we scroll all the way down. Well, well there's this. Comments about Shazam... Uh, Hunger Games, things like this. And it says this. Now, Zegler is about to become an icon for kids the world over, playing the title role in Disney's live action, Snow White, which opens in theatres March 2025. In some ways, playing the fairest of them all marks the end of an era for Zegler, while heading to Broadway marks the beginning of a new one. I need to start thinking about the pivot, she says. I feel capable of being picky for the next thing. All right. Well, anyway, it gets worse. Uh, but Rachel Zegler's meteoric rise has come with strings attached. For as long as she's been famous, she's been the subject of ruthless and relentless criticism. It's because of the things that come out of her mouth. Idiot. It began innocently enough with petty jokes about her theatre kid energy. But as Zegler's fame increased, the complaints against her grew more sinister. When she playfully posted about not being invited to the 2022 Oscars, despite, quote, West Side Story earning seven nominations, she was called ungrateful and entitled. She was. It wasn't playful. So she was being entitled. Idiot. <laughs> For admitting that she took the role in Shazam sequel because she needed the money, she was seen as tacky and in need of media training. Yeah. And every time she speaks up about racism and sexism in the entertainment industry, she's slammed as just another DEI hire, coasting on her identity rather than her talent. That is absolutely the truth. She brings up her race all the time. She brings up her race more than she brings up racism. So no, she is a DEI hire. She absolutely is coasting on her identity. And she has very little talent. But wait, there's more. She's trying to have a sense of humour about the vitriol. Someone should kill you, an ex-user wrote in August. Fun fact, I'll be dying eight times a week on, broad on Broadway this fall, she replied, telling the hater to buy a ticket, then tagging the FBI. Being famous isn't for the faint of heart, Zegler says with a sign. Remember, ladies and gents, Zegler's nudes got leaked. So, yes, she is coasting on uh, a whole bunch of other things other than her talent. Uh, there's a bunch of guys furiously typing in the Google search box now, Rachel Zegler nudes, live leak or whatever. <laughs> it's not that good, I've seen it. When uh, Zegler comes downstairs from her West Hollywood hotel room for breakfast, she's wearing a floral maxi dress, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, so there's this nonsense. The reason I fell in love with this industry is not because of this town. Uh, in fact, I can't stand this town. I don't like that there's a town built around the industry that I work in. It's stifling and isolating and weird. In New York, nobody gives an F. Go back to New York then. Uh, but this is the worst stuff. So Zegler's love for the five boroughs only redoubled after a six-month shoot in the UK for Snow White, followed by filming The Hunger Games in Poland. It's not until you have to go around the world filming in different cities that you realise how grateful you are for the diversity of New York. Even in this own... <laughs> even in this interview she can't help but bring up race and things like that it's just absolutely insane absolutely insane what an absolute pleb um so there's more 
obviously. Uh, when I came home from my uh, year in Europe, going to my bodega, where people speak in Spanish to me, she's performing her words, feigning heart stroke, heat stroke and rumbling with melodrama. I was like, oh my God, I missed you, Enrique. Yeah, funny that. Um, there's not many Spanish speakers in England. Clues in the name. England, we speak English here. Just, I mean, you know, you talk about wanting diversity. Go to Spanish speaking countries if you want to speak Spanish and go to English speaking countries if you want to speak English. You can't complain that there's a lack of diversity elsewhere in the world. That's just nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. Like, I don't go to Japan because I want to experience sub-Saharan African culture. I go to Japan because I want to... I haven't been to Japan, but I do want to go. Because I want to experience Japanese culture. I go to England, I live in England, because I want to experience English culture, right? I went to Prague once, and I wanted to experience Prague culture. Right? If everything's just a weird, diverse, homogenous blob, with all this weird, unifying, grey culture, there's nothing exciting about various places in the world. Just goes to show how utterly immature she really is, doesn't it? But anyway, it gets worse. This is this is this isn't this isn't any of it, by the way, guys. It gets way worse than this. <sighs> like it gets way, 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 way worse. Um, so we we'll scroll down, scroll, scroll, scroll down. Uh, that will have to wait though. For now, Zegler's in her princess era. It's been a mixed bag. Her appointment as the apple-eating stepdaughter of the evil queen drew instant ire online. Yes. Because she's not white as snow. It was a diversity hire. Uh, with many promising to boycott the film due to the woke casting. To them, the actress's Colombian heritage disqualified her from playing the princess from Disney's 1937 musical fantasy. Described as having hair as black as ebony and skin as white as snow. There you go, yes. And also it is because it's a fairy tale, right? Brothers Grimm. Uh, never mind the fact that the character... Uh, Blanca Neves uh, is just as popular in Spanish-speaking countries as she is in the US. Yes. But they didn't make it Spanish, did they? Idiots. Anyway. Uh, she was my mom's favourite princess, Zegler says. When she was growing up, there weren't a lot of dark-haired princesses, and that was one she could relate to. Literally any little bit of your identity. Oh my god, she's got dark hair. I relate to dark-haired people. Like, your whole existence is a sham. Just, what is wrong with you? It's like me going, I can only relate to people with blue eyes. It's dumb. Like, it's it's really, really dumb. Anyway, it's no surprise that Snow White director Mark Webb wanted Zegler for the role from the moment she read for the part. He says his script supervisor wept upon hearing her singing voice. But she also has an inherent grace, poise and goodness that, <clears throat> that reminds me so much of what is essential to Snow White. Yeah, sure, whatever. Anyway, it gets worse. This is, like, I'm buttering you up, all right? I'm like, I'm, I'm looping you up, ready. <laughs> ready, for the, ready for Disney to fuck, fuck you. Anyway, uh, so Zegler doesn't try to understand why it's so hard for some of those diehard Disney adults to picture a Latina in their beloved princess's shoes. Well, let it, I mean, look, so therein lies, therein lies the hypocrisy. You've just said your mother only related to Snow White because she had dark hair, right? So maybe, maybe the majority of the English-speaking world is white. You know, maybe, you know, the Western world is majority white. So maybe it's because, using your own identity logic, is that we can't relate to someone that's Spanish. I mean, I don't think that that is the case, FYI. But using your own internal logic, there's one argument. How do you not understand that? It's dumb. Anyway. But yeah, people are annoyed about it because you've just changed stuff for the sake of it and it, it's also just really apparent nowadays that's why and also you're really insufferable you came out and said a whole bunch of nonsense uh you were just yeah really bad in interviews like really 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 bad this is another bad interview you look bad like you look terrible with these things and anyway, it gets worse uh she's making a children's movie after all okay so you don't understand that adults really love disney okay cool whatever uh, and she remembers spending her own childhood obsessing over ABC's uh, movie starring Whitney Houston as the fairy godmother alongside an 18-year-old Brandy as Cinderella. And it gets worse. I grew up in a house where that was Cinderella, obviously. We watched the cartoon, but a child's mind is the most amazing thing where it's just like, okay, that's Cinderella. But the blonde-haired, blue-eyed, blue-dressed Cinderella from the 1950s cartoon is also Cinderella. Also, Hilary Duff is Cinderella in A Cinderella Story. I was able to comprehend those things at a young age. Right, but you're just contradicting yourself. But never mind. Identity politics, I guess. 
Uh, I know Rachel will be absolutely incredible in this role, Brandy says in an email, 26 years after her star turn in Cinderella. She's also got some advice for Zegler as she faces the barrage of negativity over a casting. You're not taking on this role to fit the mould of the critics. You're doing this for every little Colombian girl who has yet to see themselves in a role like a Disney princess. You're doing this for the little girl that you once were who grew up without that representation of her Colombian culture. I mean, she's like barely Colombian, isn't she? I'm pretty certain that came out that she's barely Colombian. You are showing her that anything is possible for someone who looks like her, and that is the most important job in the world. Sure, this is all pathetic, but fine. Uh, as for that line about skin as white as snow, Zegler reveals that the new film has its own origin story for her name. Oh, here we go. Because remember, ladies and gents, everyone's like, well, she's not white as snow, is she? There's that line. What's going on? Well, get uh, check this out. They've made their own thing up. It fell back to another version of Snow White that was told in history, where she survived a snowstorm that occurred when she was a baby. And so the king and queen decided to name her Snow White to remind her of her resilience. One of the core points in our film for any young woman or young person, <laughs> gotta get that in there, is remembering how strong you actually are. Right, right, okay, sure, sure, goodness me. Ah, uh, unbelievable. I've, I've tried to find this, I can't find it, but maybe that is a thing. It's still pathetic though. And it's not the quintessential Snow White and that matters. Uh, the social media outrage about Zegler's being cast as Snow White only got louder as time went on. She began stay, saying in red carpet interviews in the summer of 2022 that her version as the iconic princess wouldn't spend her days pining over a man. She called aspects of the original story weird, 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 and said that 1937's film Prince literally stalked Snow White. So do you not understand that that's, that's going to annoy people? Oh, no, wait. Variety spin. Overnight, online trolls took shots at Zegler's disdain for the animated classic, deeming her unworthy of portraying the OG Disney heroine. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> she grows sombre, recalling the hate that erupted during that time. In all honesty, it made me sad that it was taken in such a way. What way? The literal way you meant it? Why would you be sad at that? Oh, wait, because you didn't think, like, your actions had consequences. Because you're a Nepo baby. Okay. In all honesty, it made me sad, blah, blah, blah. Uh, because I believe that women can do anything, but I also believe that they can do everything. What she'd meant... Uh, Zegler says what she meant to convey was that Snow White wants romance, but has other goals too. God, so lame. I would never want to box someone in and say, if you want love, then you can't work. Or if you want to work, then you can't have a family. It's not true. It's never been true. It can be very upsetting when things get taken out of context or jokes don't land. The love story is very integral. A lot of people wrote that we weren't doing that storyline anymore. We were always doing that. It just wasn't that we were talking about it on that day. Uh, no, you literally said he could just be cut from the entire movie. That's Hollywood, baby. And also, I remember you in the strike. Didn't you say that you wanted to get paid for every time that movie gets streamed? If you're going to stand in a Disney princess every you know for eight hours a day, you want to get paid for every view uh, that it makes on streaming as well. You are a narcissistic, insufferable woman. You just are. There's no two ways about it. But this is some like epic spin they're trying to do. Zegler's not surprised by what she sees uh, as people's willful misunderstanding of her comments. Yeah, sure, whatever. It's par for the course for an outspoken young woman in the public eye. I've watched women get torn down my whole life, my whole career. We'll watch it in the election that's upcoming. We're going to witness that for a long time. I fear sometimes it can feel like we're going back. It certainly felt that way when that was happening. Oh my god, what a dickhead, making it political. Zegler isn't immune to the harsh criticism, even if her bubbly demeanour makes her seem that way. Though she's been tempted to stay off social media, she won't. I don't like to give them the satisfaction of knowing they hurt me in the moment. You give them a lot of power by taking a social media break. This is just nonsense. This is absolute nonsense. Like, seriously is. Um, I don't think there's too much else in here, to be fair. There's a little bit more about this you know, Snow White stuff. So over the past year, Zegler has also been an advocate for Palestinians, which is going to be really, really interesting to see her on Gal Gadot uh, on the tour circuit for Snow White. Uh, and as expected, her comments have been put under a microscope just one day after appearing at D23 in August, where Zegler teed up the first footage of Snow White for a crowd of adoring fans. She posted a note of gratitude on X, but it was the last line of her post that drew the most attention. And always remember, free Palestine. Yeah, it was just weird. Weird, weird, weird. Uh, Rachel Zegler stirs more controversy, read a Fox News headline. Uh, Zegler was on a collision course with her co-star Gal Gadot, who had served two years as a soldier in the IDF before making it as an actress. Uh, I can't watch children die, Zegler says. I don't think that should be a hot take. Uh, she knows that it's not that simple. 
but she tries to tune out all the noise that blares around her every time. I'm only responsible for what I feel, and then I'm also responsible for how I act upon it. We're nearing one year since the horrendous attacks on Israel on October 7th, but I've been following this conflict for so many years. Like so many people, I'm so heartbroken by the loss of life that we're seeing with these insane death tolls coming out from both regions. Yeah, but you didn't say anything about that, did you, dickhead? Uh, anyway, so Zegler wants to continue to use her platform to advocate for Palestinian people. Cool. Put them up in your house then. See how quick you last. They'll gut you and behead you, I'm sure. I don't have the answers. Uh, I don't think any celebrity making a political statement has the answers. Then keep your fucking mouth shut then. <laughs> but we have the platform to share a donation link to make sure that these people get the money. Yeah, sometimes that just goes to terrorists, you idiot. Uh, the care and the aid that they need and that people in power aren't giving them. If that means that they can fall upon us to be in power in a way that is helpful, then I'm happy to do it. This person's a moron. Anyway, there's not much else here, really. I just thought it was hilarious. Genuinely, absolutely hilarious. So there you go. Um, she's an idiot. And this is just continuing her absolutely moronic stuff here. You know, a little bit more as, uh, as for her personal life, she abides by a more traditional definition of happily ever after, which might come as a surprise to those who interpreted her comments about Snow White not needing a princess. Uh, prince as a man hating honestly my goal is to get married have kids and retreat at some point sure so maybe you should advocate that for kids as well then rather than feminist ideals that ultimately make people shriveled up dried up and uh, very unhappy with their lives when they're cat ladies at 40 anyway leave your thoughts down below cheers take care bye bye now